Hello everyone, welcome back. Rebecca Jean here with Style My Sweets. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys today 10 Dollar Tree DIYs that you can make in under 10 minutes. These are really simple, easy Dollar Tree DIY home decor and room decor ideas and crafts that you can make, again, using mostly items from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. With the first one, I am taking this little pack of these little rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree. I spray painted them over with a metallic gold spray paint and also took one of these glass vases from Dollar Tree and I spray painted it white and then just stuck those stickers all over it. And in my opinion, for a couple of dollars, I think this looks way more high end than what it costs to make. So I love how this one turned out. For the next one, I had this little wooden frame from the Dollar Tree left over from another project, and I also picked up this little wooden basket frame um, in their crafter's square. I'm gluing the little basket tray down inside of that other wood frame, and then I also have one of these little beaded wreath frames from Dollar Tree. You're able to bend the wire framing in here, so I bent it to be able to glue it diagonally across the basket here from corner to corner, and you might want to use a mix of some hot glue in some spots and some wood glue in others just to give yourself a really good, strong, secure hold. And then once that's in there, I am going to go ahead and just give this whole thing a coat of spray paint. And then once it's dry, go ahead and arrange some flowers in here, some greenery, whatever you like. For the next one, I'm taking a canvas from Dollar Tree. I decided to paint about two thirds of it with this brown color paint that I had. And then I did those stripes vertically. And then I decided to do the other kind of third of it with horizontal brush strokes with this other creamy ivory colored paint. If you want to, while your paint is still wet, you can sprinkle some little seeds or sand or something like that on here to add a little bit of texture like I'm doing here and it'll just dry in the paint like that. And once the whole thing is dry, I came in with a pencil and I did a little design on here of kind of like a palm frond uh, leafy branch here and I'm gonna go ahead now and just outline that with some colored hot glue and I, I like how it turned out it came out really pretty I have this kind of lovely copper gold kind of color here and I just outlined all of my pencil marks and now I think that this brown and white kind of modern, neutral coastal decor is gonna just look really pretty. I can set this on the bookshelf. It's almost a little bit tropical, kind of perfect for summer as well. Moving on for the next one, we're taking one of these wooden pencil holders from the Dollar Tree along with a Dollar Tree candle holder. And with this particular candle holder, it had a square base. So I actually flipped it over upside down so that the square part of the candle holder would line up with the square part of this little wooden pencil holder piece. So I painted the whole thing over. I took some of these little Ditalini round pasta pieces and I spray painted them white. And then while the brown paint was still wet on my planter vase here, I was able to just set all of those little white pasta pieces now on top of it and they would just dry right on there. And that worked out pretty well. If you do want to seal them on a little bit better, once everything's dry, you could use a little bit of Mod Podge or something like that or a spray sealer just to like adhere everything extra well. Now for the next one, this is actually a soap jar that didn't have a top. I found this little soap dispenser um, bottle 
in Goodwill for a couple of dollars. I had some of this seagrass left and I will again put a link for this down below because I've used it in a bunch of my projects. It's also linked in my Amazon storefront in my crafts section. If you don't have this, by all means, you can do this from Dollar Tree using some of their cotton or twine, jute or nautical rope. Dollar Tree does have a selection of items that you could kind of create a similar look with. Wrapping the dispenser here, the little bottle, I alternated using a Gorilla Super Glue and a hot glue. And that way the super glue is gonna give a really good strong hold over time, but the hot glue helped me keep it in place right now as I'm going and wrapping. And I just kind of used my fingers to like press it on and hold it on really tight while it was drying little by little and wrap it really tightly. I tried to kind of go slow and steady getting it to wrap really neatly and I think this turned out so cool. It kind of, I think it's gonna fit really well with our more modern boho, modern like coastal decor. So I think this is going to fit in well with our decor. And then you can just style some greenery, some flowers, some plants, real or artificial. I don't think I would really wanna get the seagrass wet on here. So I probably would stick with like dried florals or something artificial, but either way, I really like how this one turned out. Now moving on for the next one, I have this little glass jar vase from Dollar Tree and I also had some of these little leftover green leaves from a project that I did a few months ago. And so I, for the longest time, couldn't figure out what to do with them. And so I decided to use a little bit of hot glue and just glue all these little green leaves on all the way around the vase, you know, upright, sticking up from the base and then wrap the base of it with some nautical rope. And I think this is kind of the perfect like farmhouse -y, farmhouse kind of project or DIY. I think it would fit in really well with rustic decor, farmhouse decor, but I also think it's gonna fit in pretty well with um, my decor that's a little bit more modern and neutral. For the next one, I had this little Valentine sign left over actually from a couple of years ago. And so I'm taking some sandpaper, sanding off all of that glitter writing. And then once I got pretty much all of that off, I painted all of the pink over with some black chalk paint. And then I sprayed that metallic part with some gold spray paint along with two of these little wooden bees. I can't remember where I got these, if these were from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, but I had a pack of little cute wooden accessories and I don't know that Dollar Tree does have a lot of cute little wooden accessory embellishment pieces like this. So I painted these also with the metallic gold spray paint, glued them on, and then I took my gold puffy paint and I decided to write out the verse from Proverbs, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. And I thought that with the little honeybees on here, it would just be super cute for spring decor or summer decor. Let's go ahead and move on for the next one. Now I'm taking this little pink plastic trifle bowl from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted it over with some metallic gold spray paint and then I took a little bit of this burlap ribbon that I had and then wrapped that around the trifle bowl and we're gonna make a little planter out of this. So let's go ahead and stick this round piece of styrofoam down inside and then stick in whatever florals, plants, greenery that you like. I actually have some of this one left over from some that I, eucalyptus that I bought back at Christmas time and never ended up using. And I think again, this arrangement is gonna look great with a modern farmhouse decor, rustic decor, and a fun, cute little floral arrangement piece that we can use in, for our spring and summer home decor. For the next one, I'm taking one of these glass margarita glasses from Dollar Tree, along with one of these little plastic high cloche domes from Dollar Tree. Now we're gonna save that black 
base part for a future DIY. I'm just going to be using the clear plastic top of it for now. But honestly, I discovered that all you have to do is flip this over upside down and flip the margarita glass upside down and it sits in there perfectly like a little candle holder. So obviously do not use any real candles in here because we're talking about plastic and you could glue it in, but you honestly don't even have to glue it in. You could just set it in and it stays and rests there perfectly. And if you just want to set a little battery LED candle in there like I'm doing, you know, they go on on a timer. It's so cute. It's perfect. If you want to, you can spray paint that glass for the base of the candle holder, whatever color you want. I ended up deciding on metallic gold. I think it came out really beautiful like this, but you could also just leave the whole thing clear glass and this DIY like literally requires nothing at all like no glue no paint you don't even have to do anything I think this would also look really great if you did a pair of them why not do two <laughs> For the next one, I'm taking another one of those little square wooden pencil holder boxes and one of these tiny little mini canvases from Dollar Tree. So I did paint it over just so that the canvas was painted and sealed and not just like dry canvas, but that part's totally optional because it didn't really change the look very much. But then after I painted it over, I did make a little tiny hole in the center. I just poked a little hole in there and I had one of these little gold bells. Dollar Tree had packs of these as well. So I just had some on hand, took a little bell and hot glue, some hot glue and put that right into the center. Super glue would probably also work, whatever you have. And it makes kind of like a cute little handle here. It just looks like a little gold knob. And then for that wooden base, if you want to paint it or stain it, whatever you want to do with that. I like to sometimes mix like a little bit of brown chalk paint, acrylic paint or antique stain or I mean um, antique wax with a little bit of water and brush it on there. It just kind of adds a little bit of color and finish to the wood, darkens it a little bit for some contrast with the lid. And I wouldn't exactly use the little golden bell as a, a literal handle because eventually you'll probably pull it off. It's just kind of glued in there but it's super cute and it looks adorable and it's easy enough to just lift up the lid and just keep whatever little trinkets or things that you might want to keep in there. Let me know down below, what do you think I should keep in this little box? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these quick, easy, simple Dollar Tree DIY home decor and room decor pieces that you can make in 10 minutes or less. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. As always, I'm wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you guys soon in a new video.